All right, this one's gonna be on XClip. It is a command line clipboard manager. And um, to make this a little bit easier, we're gonna use some aliases. And I copied these aliases from uh, the Mac style. Because Macs, they have this uh, program called pbcopy, which is like similar to XClip, but it's much easier to type out than, you know, this long ass shit that we have to do here. But normally, if you're gonna do some scripts, uh, you would do something like this, for example, we do echo, uh, we'll say, hi, YouTube world. Right, and then you would pipe into, um, let's say you want to copy it, we'll do something like this. X clip uh, selection clipboard. And then it copies it to your clipboard. Now, if you want to paste it back, you can always do uh, X clip selection clipboard dash O, and it'll output it. Right, whatever we just typed here. So this is what we typed up here, and it outputs it here. Um, so instead of doing that, we can actually just do instead of uh, this echo here. Let's just make this longer. Uh, hi YouTube viewers. That's about it. Something different. And then we can actually just use um, is that PB copy, right? Pretty much the same thing. And now we just instead of doing uh, that long ass shit, we do PB paste. And it'll paste out uh, whatever you just copy. So it's a little bit easier, especially if you're doing it from the command line, not in scripting. Like if it's, you're doing it in a script, then you can just, you know, type out the whole thing and you only do that one time. But if you're gonna do this in the command line, uh, instead of typing all this crap out, uh, you just type in PB copy, or instead of typing this crap out, you do PB paste. That's about it, right? Um, but unlike other, you know, uh, other operating systems, Linux actually has, I think, three clipboards. They have primary, secondary, and then the clipboard itself. I forgot what the secondary is, but uh, I know what primary is in, in the clipboard. So the clipboard is basically the same thing that you have in uh, Windows, Macs, or any other operating system. Is that you would, uh, you know, let's say you highlight something, and then you right click, and then you copy. So that one is the clipboard, all right? It copies it to your clipboard. Um... So let's do this here. We just copy that sucker, right? And we just do pb uh, paste. And it'll paste out whatever you just copy. Now this other one is called, uh, what was that? Uh, was a primary? And that one's just like highlighting it. Like this, if we highlight this. And one way to do this is just middle click and it'll paste it. Uh, another way is um, you can do shift insert. So let's say, for example, we'll copy this sucker here, and we'll do shift and then insert, and then that's how you do that. Now, if you want to do this, the highlighting one, with uh, this other one I made up, like PB select here, right? We just uh, highlight this sucker, and you can also do PB uh, select, and it'll paste in your selection. So that's another way to do that. So multiple ways, right? And like I said, I forgot what the second one is. I think it's just hotkeys or something like that. I forgot. But the most you'll use is the clipboard and the primary one, uh, depending on whatever you want to use. But that's really all you got to do. And you can do some other stuff. You know, like let's say if you want to um, copy any of this. Sucker. And let's say we do PB paste. We want to paste it into a file. So we'll call this... Uh, news.txt you can do something like that and then you can uh, cat it out if you want news so anything like that and you see that it's very quick to type in you know pb paste or uh, pb copy you know or pb select which is something I made up but you know it's real quick instead of typing uh, x clip selection primary dash o or some bullshit like that so that's what I recommend to do if you're gonna use it in the command line if you're gonna do it in scripting, then you want to use out the whole thing, all right? But from the command line, that's what I recommend. And uh, you should uh, be in your repositories if you want to go and install it and use it. So that'd be it for this one. We we'll actually use this thing in maybe other programs I'll talk about in the future. So that's all.